Red. Red. General Quarters, Red. General Red. Quarters. Red. All hands Red. evade your battle station. Welcome to the Rundown. The Naval Education and Training Command has recently announced updates to the United States Military Apprenticeship Program, more commonly known as USMAP. There are four main updates that sailors who currently use or plan on using USMAP need to know. Enrollment is now completely automated. Simply go to usmap.natc.navy.mil, select an apprenticeship trade that relates to your current military duties and complete the automated enrollment process. The reporting process has also been greatly improved. There's no more need to print out weekly and monthly logs. Now you can simply submit your logs monthly through the US MAP website, where they can be electronically approved by your supervisors. Once you have completed all the requirements for an apprenticeship, your certificate will be mailed directly to you. So make sure your address is correct in your US MAP profile, or you will not get the certificate that you've earned. And lastly, make sure you keep the original copies of any logs or certificates you earn, because the website requires a CAC login, and if you depart the Navy, you will not be able to retrieve another copy. For complete information, read the story on Navy.mil or go to usmap.netc.navy.mil. In a recent NAV admin, the Navy announced changes for the Biannual Lateral Transfer and Redesignation Board. The board will now convene in February and August rather than the previous June and November. Also, the Bureau of Naval Personnel, Officer Community Management Branch, or BUPERS III, will be taking over as the board sponsor from Navy Personnel Command's PERS-8. The changes are part of Navy's Sailor 2025 personnel system modernization efforts. The convening date change increases the likelihood that officers receive promotion results prior to the August board results. This will help better match officer skill sets with individual community needs. For more information, see our story on Navy.mil or read NAVADMIN 246-18. The 2018 Workplace and Gender Relations Survey of Active Duty Members is being conducted to gather information on workplace and gender issues. This confidential survey assesses experiences service members may recently have had with sexual harassment and sexual assault and is the only survey the Department of Defense uses to construct official rates of these experiences across the force. If you have received a letter or an email inviting you to take part in the survey, please do your part and take a few minutes to provide input that can shape future DOD policy. If you want to see if you've been selected for the survey, go to www.dodsurveys.mil. For more information, see our story on Navy.mil. That's all for this week. Connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at USM People. You can listen to our collection of Sailor to Sailor podcasts at navy.mil slash CMP. For any questions or to sign up for our monthly newsletter, send us an email at usmpeople.fct at navy.mil. For the Chief of Naval Personnel, I'm MC2 Tyler Preston. Thanks for watching.